Yo, what's up, guys, and back with another video. This video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make beat shakes for your music videos. It's pretty quick and easy and just makes your video look 10 times better, especially if you don't want to add hardcore visuals. If you guys are interested, I do have a mini beat shake pack with about 10 presets down in the description for $7. You guys can purchase this if you guys don't want to make your own beat shakes. It's a simple drag and drop. So make sure you guys check that out. It'll be on my pay hip down below. Leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, comment what you want to see next, and let's get right into this video. So now we're in our composition. I do have a clip here from, from a random music video with my files i'm just gonna play the audio i believe it's not copyrighted so i should be straight so there's about three beat shakes i would add on this clip alone so i have my markers placed already and i'm just gonna be showing you guys a simple way to make uh, good beat shakes so now what you want to do is just add your adjustment layer you want to make sure you cut it nicely just make sure it's uh it's a decent length you don't want it to be extremely long because i mean it'll just look whack every beat shake has to be a quick couple keyframe shake so now we're going to add s underscore shake here we'll have the default settings there's nothing here you really want to change yet what we want to go to is the x and y z shakes what you want to do is make sure the x me personally i like y shakes more than x for um beat shakes it also depends i usually put the x around five and the amplitude i leave it at zero but for the sake of the tutorial you can leave it at five so we'll still have that horizontal it'll be primarily vertical so now for the y shake it's at 96 i like to bump it up a little bit honestly any number that feels right to you you can leave it there i'll just leave it at 177 and bump up that wave as well probably like 100 so now what you want to do is enable motion blur and this is how you can tell if your shake will look good or not so if i up the frequency to about 15 and as well as my amplitude to like four you're gonna see that it's just straight motion blur i like to turn that down a little bit maybe about 0.4 or even less 0.25 and then as you see you have the black lines here that means it's you know reflecting over so you never want to have your first keyframe to be like that that's just my personal preference that i never have my frame looking like this for the first beat shake or for the first frame of the beat shake what i do is mess with the phase hold down the control key the left control key on your keyboard and now you can drag it'll go by the tens and you can see every frame of your beat shake if you just click and drag naturally it'll go by the thousands or the hundreds very fast maybe about here is good now we're gonna add this clock for the amplitude and go to the last keyframe or second to last keyframe and put this to zero highlight over them right click keyframe assistant right click key from assistant easy ease now we want to go into the graph and just make a nice curve graph right here make sure it's sharp what i like to do is for this graph on the right side just bring this up a tad bit just like that i found different numbers here so for the y shake i put 185 for the y rand amp and then for the y wave amp i put 165 for the frequency it's 23 in the phase the phase that literally depends on your footage so motion blur is at 0.53 and it's something like this so what i'm gonna do to spice the b shake up a little bit i'm gonna add a transform animate the scale and put that as well to the back we're gonna change the scale to 110 also easy ease that keyframe assistant easy ease and a small little graph is nothing too crazy you're not really gonna see much of it and then also exposure animate the exposure bring that there and then change that to two honestly it's personal preference but yeah i used to and then just do your little animation right there and maybe we can drag this out a little bit put that more down just change the graphs a little bit actually that's a good graph for this change it like that so there we go now we have our first beat shake now we can just do this literally just copy and paste we have some beat shakes right there and that's pretty much a small way in how to make quick beat shakes the beat shake does add more spice to your videos makes it more vibey and just flows a lot better so yeah if this video did help you guys please make sure you guys leave a like on this video subscribe if you're new and i'll catch you in the next video peace out